Feature Friday. The freshest. This is like so different, huh? But it's not here. But that doesn't mean we can't party. Yeah, but I'm with you. That's it. Father's here as well. He just didn't want to be on this one because uh, hip hop ain't really his thing. It's more my thing. Uh, but yeah, welcome to Feature Friday. I've got some um, lovely beverages served for me and a bit of sweets. Look. Because I don't know how long I can keep going without Walucha. So uh, we don't do drugs or smoke, but we do sweets. Um, I thought this for this podcast. I've also got like an idea on just because I wanted to see how we sound. Because a lot of the time I don't know what the hell you guys are listening to. I only check him once the video's out. But it, it sounds okay. Um, I thought for this podcast, we'll do like... Um, I'll, I'll show you like the process of like actually making the list. I'm not going to do a list for this podcast. I'm just going to go to the community post that we did. Um, and we are going to check out sort of a rap from, from South Korea. Uh, I'd probably say that's like my favorite pot, uh, my favorite um, type of rap at the moment. That and maybe Korean R&B. Um, I don't know, for some reason, that's what I'm listening to at the moment. A lot. The vibe is right, I think. It's kind of like low-key. It's relaxed. Uh, but also with hip-hop, I, I don't know. I want to go hard a bit. Pero que espanto, susto, en mi país le recen a los santos, justo, los pantalones se compran grandes, no justo, aquí no hay batalla, tú terminas, bruto. Pero que espanto, susto, en mi país le recen a los santos, justo, los pantalones se compran grandes, no justo, aquí no hay batalla, tú terminas, Tecla que toco y notas que se salen por poco las arruinas porque no me comporto, me escriben por la noche porque saben lo que quieren, nada más lo que lo ofrezco, un pozo sin fondo, mágico, el ático, fantástico, ya quiere ser un fan, nada más porque nunca le estorbo. Suavecito le susurro, métete en mi toldo Escucha chivo, que comience el tema Cuidado que vengo escupiendo flema uh -huh. Tengo miedo de hablar de unos cuantos emblemas Pero con papel y lápiz no tengo un problema Mi disculpa si te ofende Pero pa' que te expones al fuego si sabes que quema Letras tóxicas Considera esto unos minutos de situación extrema Reina, rana, uh -huh. sabe lo que pasa de pana uh -huh. Que su ella que tú no hiciste en mi cama yeah. Yo me paro aquí no hay campana Báilame cerquita, gitana Ataca beso dulce de sultana yeah. Me sale con cosas, tres con ganas Me llaman y me gusta este flow sin ganas Estoy aprendiendo a cubrir mis espaldas Dale. Conmigo las cosas no se dicen gritando Aquí se dicen es con calma Es difícil diferenciar entre Eva con interés, clase o falta de alma La semana pasada me enseñan cosas básicas como darle a las palmas Que tú no entiendes, escribí mis armas, te desarman Y tú que no emprendes en cosas Yo no sé si tú entiendes, pero yo sí entiendo Y me siento y te expreso las cosas Si tú no preguntas, pretendes y rimas Tú mismo te pones en posas Pero supongo si tú no sabes lo que está pasando, tú no ves lo que explota. Que espanto, susto, en mi país le rezan a los santos, justo. Los pantalones se compran grande, no justo. Es que no hay batalla, tú terminas, bruco. Pero que espanto, susto, en mi país le rezan a los santos, con gusto. Los pantalones se compran grande, no justo. Aquí no hay batalla, tú terminas, So I thought I'll show you guys like a ballet posting a fucking picture of me. Um, what kind of, I don't know, what we should check out. And um, you guys usually comment and stuff and then you put your requests. So I'll just choose from that. Like wh whichever comments have the most like. And if someone catches, like something catches my eye, we'll still go for it, okay? Um, and I have no idea how long this shit's gonna be. I have no clue. This could be four hours. This could be one. As a matter of fact, it could be 25 minutes. But uh, you guys probably already know because you can see the thing. Um, but I've always thought, actually, it's quite odd. Like, if you look at other podcasters, like Theo Vaughn, he fucking does a podcast on his own with no one listening. Like, at least I got that. I wonder if people know your name. I don't think people know your name, do they? 
Because I always call you it's the good. old fathers. Yeah, Papa Herrera. Papa Herrera. <laughs> That's good. That's good enough, huh? Yeah. Okay, dog. My uh, name is Jose. That's right. Jose. Jose. What's I like to call him? Jesus. Um, he doesn't like when I call him that. Anyways, this is some of the... This is some of the... What do you call it? Request. This is someone that said everything goes. My recommendation is Drunken Tiger of RM of BTS. Okay. Okay, let's go. Let's, let's give that, that a go. Let's go. That'll be the first one we check out. Timeless. Um... How the fuck do I put this? Yeah. There you go. We're starting to set the Christmas tree as well this weekend. Christmas is off officially here. And I think it's my favorite time of the year. You want to hear something funny? Before this, before listening to like Korean pop, or hip hop, I guess, the whole day I've just been listening to fucking Michael Bublé. <laughs> Jazz, yeah, blues. Christmas. and I love it, mate. Like It's definitely my favorite time of the year. Now, I do wonder. I found it. Should I watch the lyrics video or should I watch? Does it have English subtitles? I don't know. Let's watch this one. Drunken Tiger. Okay. No. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh. <laughs> I thought my computer was spazzing. <laughs> someone said like tigers like a oh shit oh he's got lyrics <laughs> what the fuck look at it Benjamin <laughs> You're wondering where I got my ears, it's like, it is. Dude, I've missed beats like this for so long. Like, nowadays, most beats are kind of, uh, what would you call them? I'd call them like, uh, somewhat predictable. They're certainly fat, like they, they feel, you know, like you, you listen to like Lil Baby nowadays, he's got very good beat productions. Uh, obviously from the West uh, in Latin America I, I have a bit of an issue going on there I've always had it um, and I guess that's probably why I resonated to like music from El Residente and like Calle 13 because it was always going everything that was against the grain um, because things start to sound so sort of common and, and uh, unoriginal yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and it's the same what's happening with hip hop at the moment I don't have anything wrong with it like I still listen to a lot of this you know, all the babies, like the baby, little baby, Gunner and all these guys. But the, the, the only problem is that you do get stuck in this loop of always sounding somewhat similar. Mm -hmm. um, and it's certainly refreshing. I, I, I think Drunken Tiger, he's like like a big legend of rap there in, in, in South Korea. I'm not too sure. Someone did comment, so I want to go back to that comment and see what they say. As I always say, I'm always learning as I do these podcasts. Um, so I do apologize if I make mistakes and stuff like that. This is also pretty cool because I don't think a lot of people kind of know know a bit maybe this side of me of of when Bal is here. Um, I think I'm maybe not as uh, what would you call it as serious or or as hip hop inclined, you know? Because Bal is not very hip hop inclined. She likes a lot more uh, alternative and ballads and uh, uh, certainly alternative music, experimental stuff. So I have to become more attuned to that type of style of music but this is basically what i fucking listen to on a daily like every day um so i don't want to be over critical of things or anything like that but so far so fucking good benjamin button benjamin the nine what the fuck the nine i know it's benjamin button but Oh, 
Yeah, we're not fine since I'm still smoking. Benjamin the Danju. And Korean language has, has such a benefit, I feel, I feel in hip hop because it's so naturally percussive yeah. and bouncy. Like, I think that's probably why I seem to uh, uh, cater towards that in my playlist at the moment. Because it is refreshing, it's different. And I do understand that there's the big deal. Like Even some of my mates, you know, and maybe we'll call them, talk to them on the phone. Um, it's like, you know, it's rap and lyrics is a huge deal of rap. So how can you like this music if you don't know the lyrics? Obviously, here we have the, 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 this, the lyrics and the translation. But all the time, the music I'm listening to, I don't know what they're saying. They could be fucking calling me a, a dip to it and I wouldn't care. Um, it still sounds good. But... I just think the language itself and its natural syllabic nature and the, the, the production value that they provide, it, it's top notch, it's above everything else. Currently, anyways, I feel. RM. This is not RM, this is Rap Monster, dog. Poke their fast. Already blessed. <laughs> what the fuck? I didn't say blessed. <laughs> Already blast. Already blast, dog. They give they give it that twang. The monster. But it will forever last. But fast must be the fast. But you already blast. <laughs> Don't you worry, Dad. This is high quality hip hop. Hold on, let me finish this. Feel good mute. <laughs> feel good, feel hood music. Say what? What were you saying? Do they perform that song live? I don't know. I'd love to see that shit live. See yeah, how they play. It could be amazing. Well, I, I, it gives me hope, right? That's why RM is involved. Uh, so he certainly knows how to rap live with a mic. Because uh -huh. that's something people don't understand. It's like rapping is actually the, the worst fucking thing live. Because most rappers don't come from a pedigree of training where they understand mic modulation and, mm -hmm. and the emphasis, intonation, uh, uh, volume, just mic control in general. So it just sounds like they're shouting all the bloody fucking time. And then yeah, but these guys are very well RM gives me peace of mind. I drunk and tiger, I'm not very familiar, so I don't I don't mean to to, to disrespect in any form. I, I'm simply it's very new, so I'm sure maybe he's also very good live. Um but yeah, that I would love to see this live. Like yeah, yeah, me too. Because that that would even get some not someone like my dad, you know, my dad isn't really into hip hop, I guess. Uh no, Eminem, but Snoop Dogg. Yeah, but the beat is very thick. And, good. And, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. And it, it hits very well. Yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd love to see someone like Can play exactly. this, you know? Yeah, that's that's my question because I know Can. Yeah. We know Can. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it, he could be very, you know, joyful playing it yeah. live. I know, I know and this. The guys making that kind of chemistry together. Right, right. You know what I mean? Yeah. On the stage, it yeah. could be a, a party time. Could be a show. Yeah. <laughs> could be a party time. In case yeah. you don't know, I know it's a bit of a meme on the channel, but uh, yes, we do know can. And in case you don't know, that's uh, BTS's drummer. So we, yeah, check out the podcast. Oh, shit. This is something that I should have said at the start. Uh, tune in Future Friday Plus on Sunday, 12 p.m. UK time, for a lovely podcast with one of my favorite uh, K pop bands that we've been able to discover in the last two years. 
um, I actually discover them in my in my own time, and a lot of the time that they release, I check it out off camera. And well, you know where I'm going with this. But anyways, AB6, they're coming on the podcast. Feature Friday Plus, 12 p.m. UK time. Lovely. Anyways, they're. I I can't announce other stuff, can I? That's why I'm looking that way. No, no, no. That's it. Just just AB6, just AB6 this Sunday, and that's lovely. Um. So far, very good bloody stuff. This is another thing that Gary requested a lot. I think it's like, uh, if I'm not mistaken, he said like Tae Yang. Uh, we'll take it. Shut up. Who was that? Um, it wasn't me. <laughs> it was like Tae Yang and GD, I think I saw. Because I've seen these comments before. Ah, oh, Lulu, this is the comment here. My recommendation is Drunken Tiger of RMBTS, Timeless, the one we just saw, right? And he says, I think the official lyric video... It's a good one. Drunken Tiger is a K hip hop group that debuted in 1999 and are some of the pioneers in Korean hip hop that helped bring bring it into the mainstream. Yeah, because I would imagine this is probably a question that you guys, if any of you know the answers. I do know that um, hip hop there, it's sort of emerging into an, a new level, kind of becoming more mainstream because I think uh, it wasn't a very popular genre. It was more like an underground genre. Okay. Uh, I think given... Yeah, but you know, they're swearing, so it can't be on TV. Uh, there's also, maybe, the, you know, there's fucking dancing that might be a bit explicit. Uh, maybe they speak about real stuff, you know. Um, so I don't know how much it can be put on national TV and stuff like that. Um, but it seems now it's been pushed way more. Um, so I do wonder, yeah, who were the people that kind of started pushing the genre into from underground into the more mainstream? Because now you get in places like, you know, in Korean pop, like K-pop, but there's always a rapping section, you know, mm-hmm. always. It's a huge deal from it. Um, so maybe K-pop had a big deal to do with it. Certainly the lyrics in K-pop songs, they're not explicit, you know, very, very little, very few times. I don't think I've ever heard one where they swear. That has been like a commercial music video. Um, so yeah, I'd love to know if any of you guys know. But it goes ahead and he says, this track, I think, is more specifically the member Tiger JK of Drunken Tiger, if I can remember correctly. Well, everything goes... Lovely comment and thank you so much. The way I'm going to choose the comments, by the way, and this is actually the way we 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 mostly do things. A lot of the time, um, not a lot of the time, but sometimes we simply just check everything, um, and um, yeah, whatever kind of got requested the most. But I think looking at the likes maybe represents as well. If a lot of you guys agree with that request, um, it says here. Oh, so RM does a lot of stuff. That's pretty good. Let's do this one. CL GD occasion one one million one. Wonder how much that is in in dollars or pounds. Because nowadays like a dollar is like I don't know fifty p. Oh, let's put this one. Is it this one? Oh shit! Hold on, hold on. Ah, uh, this is this is maybe when it's good to have a list. If Bale was here, she'd be like, "Efra, blip, 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 blip." By the way, Bale is recovering. She's doing fine. She'll survive. She's um. Efra, I have good news for you. Yeah, go on. Garbini Muguruza has won the WTA finals. Oh yeah. In Mexico. All oh, right, she won in Mexico. Very yes. nice. Good for her. Um, yeah, I'll go. I'll go ahead and put the lyrics version of this. Um, I know there's a live version, but uh, SBS. Eh. It's kind of rough. Here we go. CL occasion. Bear we. Bema one. Summer we a match. Bema one. Bema one. Bema one. Bema one. Bema one. Bema one. You're getting a bond, bitch. Put on your shades. I'm making a blind. Summer bye, bitch. Bema one. Summer we a bitch. That's so cool because he sounds like he's saying bitch, but it's not. But then he does say it. <laughs> bitch. Okay. Fucking every time they're speaking Korean to me, it's so clean. And I'm gonna show you a song, guys. This is gonna be an, uh, 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 a request from me, but later. It's Korean as well. 
But that's what my natural brilliant bro. Oh, it's G Dragon singing this. The chorus. I got occasion or occasion. Oh, apologies if I'm mispronouncing any of this. Um, he's got like a bizarre tonality. Bitch. I know that bit. Uh huh. Fucking heavy, dude. Uh-huh. I like him. I guess the only concern with like music like this, hip hop of this nature, um, you know, in comparison to the previous track, and not comparing them in order to say one's shit, one's one's not, none of them are bad, but it's that when you do bring this sort of a much more heavier sound of an instrumental you run the risk then that if the rappers do stay in this monotone sound in this monotone verse that you can uh you kind of sacrifice um yeah melody and and rhythmicality for lyricism hip-hop is no uh, what would you call it it's no stranger to this concept it has happened before and that's why sometimes people like or don't like hip-hop um but this is i guess the only uh, thing that could happen with this but i'm very surprised I, that like a lot of you guys listen to fucking hardcore hip-hop this is i'm i'm happy i'm i don't know but for example like say Bali was here i i reckon she'd like it but i don't know how much she would listen to someone like that on her playlist in comparison to me you see what i mean would you agree that yeah yeah <laughs> All these references are going right over my head. I don't know much Korean. Oh, that's something we should watch. CL's Killing Verse. I think Bale saw it. That's why we didn't check it out. Now we're not watching. Because uh, I think we want to do like a like a part two of uh, Dingo. No, no, no. No, no Anya Haseyo. No Anya Haseyo. How do you say goodbye? And the opposite of Anya Haseyo. Um, but yeah, I, we're not going to check that out now because I know it would be like um, 
hip hop, but um, Bali wants to do like a Dingo Dingo special part two because there was a lot of uh, people that we missed. Dingo, mate, is this um show in America? It's in part of the culture, really. yeah. Shut up! It, this this show in Korea where it's all about voice. Like only really good singers go there, or really good rappers, and it's uh, it's a very difficult environment to perform in. Um, and they do like an, an agglomeration, like a medley of many of their songs, popular songs. And they, you know, they do very well, like they go viral. Um, so, yes, we will check that out. May, I, I don't know which week, actually. Maybe the following week or the week after this. Not too sure. But, yeah, that one with G-Dragon. I mean, obviously, can anything with G-Dragon in, I'm going to be involved. I'm a big fan of the guy. Uh, CL, I, I enjoy a lot of her latest work. Perhaps not so much of her previous work. Because uh, I don't think I know that much, uh, but with twenty twenty one, she was good. That I think that's probably she. She probably would deserve some credit, right? In like the popularization of hip hop in a different light in South Korea. Do correct me if I'm wrong. I'd love to hear your thoughts. It's truly a shame this this isn't like uh, instantaneous. So I can read the comments now, and then I can learn. Um, but let me know if you like this kind of format. Maybe every night. I don't know. Once a year, it would do something like this. Um, because I, I I have to say I love I love like if I'm gonna podcast with at all I, I'm gonna do it with Walucha like there's no other person on this fucking planet that I would enjoy it more than with her. Um, plus she knows what she's talking about. She's that that's her area of expertise. Okay. So it's so um, how can I say it? I I learn as well and and I think as well when she's present because she is my older sister and that's something that. So a lot of you guys sometimes don't um, don't know um, that I'm actually the youngest, not the oldest. Um, but she sparks a side, a childish side, a um, a funny side, a uh, a light, playful side. Um, that even sometimes when you know some so, some of my my friends they see the videos and they see like oh my gosh you're so like happy and and like smiley and always joking around and stuff. And it's not like I don't do that off camera, but I think we, with Walucha, uh, now that we're, we're spending so much time together, uh, it, it's it's so nice, it's so lovely. So, but she, she she's not feeling too bad at the moment. She's hopefully getting better day by day. I see lots of CL actually, so maybe I am right. Maybe she's like a big deal in the generalized popularization of of um, of pop of hip hop. Oh, this is a new name, Yamasaki. Bang Young Uk. Let's have a look at that. I also want to look, yeah, look at names that you know I've never looked in my life before. Uh, this, bam. Whoa, look at the video. That's fucking weird. Oh Jesus, is this gonna get me blocked? Is Bali gonna lose her plot? Now the question is, should I look at the video or should I look at the? Uh oh. Oh, mate, YouTube is going to absolutely destroy me <laughs> if it has an R-rated thing. How, would it, how is it even on YouTube? Hold on, let me... No, 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 don't play. Uh-oh. See what he says in the comments. I was drinking water while hearing this song. It's now soju. <laughs> <laughs> I hate the fact that nobody includes young, young guck to their male idols with the deepest voices. Also, he's got a deep voice. When K-pop fans these days talk about Felix's voice, I still cannot forget. Oh, Felix is from Stray Kids. Um, okay, okay, okay. Well, I hope to fucking God I don't get blocked. Lyrics? Oh, yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Can you see it? No. Yeah, yeah. One sec, dog. Font size. Let's put it at 150. Let's go. My vote reminds Anuel Dolea. Oh my god! I mean, fuck the chicken part. But apart from that, dude. Yeah. 
Look. I haven't read the lyrics, I'm just fucking looking at the video. Oh, we like those. Huh. No live shag will be here. We like, we like those. Oh, this is a J. He's good in it. Look, even fucking that, dude. Like, that's a lot, you know, on his off time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know if he can sing, sing, but he fuck, he's a good rapper. Yeah, Maybe he, he can sing. I don't know. I have well, no idea. I'm saying it because what he's doing, yeah, uh, is is uh, two different words. He's rapping very dry, yeah, 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 and, and percussive at the yeah. beginning. But now I'm trying to be something short and more melodic. Yeah, well, look at that. Even Father yeah. Bruce, damn dog. Yeah. Okay. And on top of this, that digital bass, mm. <clears> that 808. Yeah. Fulfilling everything. She sounds so clean, huh? It is. Okay, you okay? I just saw a pig here. What is going on? Saw an episode of Black Mirror. Some guy fucked the pig. Yama, yama, yama. Uh, say arigato. Oh my God. This guy's voice is like... Uh. <laughs> Never be frugal with good alcohol. Well spoken, well said. Oh, Yamasaki, man. Those women are good looking, dude. Nice. Hey, good models. Da, 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 ah, interesting. What instrument is that? Jama, ja, eh. Jama, ja. Young Gook. Jama, ja. Jama, ja. Young Gook. Jama, ja. Jama, Jama. Jama. What the fuck? Oh, I love this dude. Jama, cha, jama, cha, jama. Uh, YouTube, that's not blood. That's 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 a that's that's a bath bomb. That's that's soap. He just got soap in his forehead. Oh my, we're getting we're fucked, dude. We are. Oh my god, you monster. Oh, you absolute my goodbye, guys. You're not seeing this podcast. Oh, Walucha, you're gonna have to put a put a picture of a chicken there, a live one. Oh my god, you fucking monster. <laughs> Produced by Bang Why? John Cook. So he's. I don't know. He's Why? wild. This guy's nuts. I mean, in his performance, he was very versatile. Oh, joke, mate. Yeah. I, obviously, shock factor. And I'm not hating on him. I like it. I mean. Put more chicken. <laughs> I feel like a badass queen every time I'm listening to this. <laughs> I want this song on Spotify. It's not on Spotify. Oh, look. He's like us. None of the Future Fighter songs are on Spotify either. 
Anyways, hey, I, I think that's, that takes it. That's, that's a fucking good one. I, I did forget that on the post it said uh, uh, hip hop collaborations. So we'll pretend he was featuring someone here. He was featuring himself. But uh, yeah, we are on the find, on the look, on the treasure hunt for the best hip hop Korean collaboration. Uh, funny enough, I think I'm, I was going to choose that song for the best one so far. But uh, he had no collaboration. It was just him with himself and the dead chicken, followed by a dead pig. <laughs> and that guy with a machete. Um, okay, so uh, just just collabs, just collabs. Focus here, son. Uh, let's look. Ah, yeah, look at this. C on T. Let me show you guys what I'm looking at. Bro, i got to move this over here. There you go. C on T and Zico. Or oh, Zico, Zico. Oh, let's li let's listen to Chang Mo. I love that guy. Let's listen to this first. Ash Island. Wow, what a collab. Okay, okay. Let's let's look for this. I really hope the podcast is still going, dog. Because after that previous song, we're screwed. It has no video. No. Oh, look, this guy's did a review. That's nice. Okay, we'll do this. Okay. Hmm. Hey, hold on, YouTube. Bloody hell. Jesus Christ. Before we do that, celebratory. Dude, I bought this thing in Halloween. I was meant to give it away to kids. I never did. Oh, let try this. This is a sweet that's chili. It's spicy. Yeah. Oh, sorry, mate. <laughs> Apologies. Uh... I'll have some of, uh, you're going to hate it. Father's not a big fan of sweets. Me neither, but every now and then, I'll, I'll have the egg. Let's have a look at Father's face. Oh my God. Your man will love it. Kind of weird. Okay. It's very weird, isn't it? It tastes so bizarre, that sweet. Let's do this. Go back, this is my shit now. See, I, I, look, I care what they're saying, but you gotta tell me that shit doesn't make you wanna just dance, dude, and just, I don't know, he's so good, I love this guy, Changmo is next level, I'm actually, after this I'm gonna call my mate, I'm gonna show him this. Band check. They say soju and beer is illegal. Soju plus beer, drugs are illegal. I have a lot to lose. No, no drugs, no drugs. We don't do those here, YouTube. <laughs> good man, good man, good man. That last bar, very good, man. <laughs> oh, that's a straight to my playlist. Brett, 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 Hashi, but it's a one. It's a one. Mato con pato. Sabe no sabe los gatos los pa. Dude, you tell me that shit doesn't bang, bruh. 
That's actually wild when that happens. I would imagine. I mean, I've never, I've never fancied a girl where I grew up like fancy, you know. I never dated her because maybe she thought I was a loser. I guess that's what he's alluding to. And then when he became famous and stuff, you you become an ex lover of her. I've never had that happen. <laughs> yeah, because I I guess maybe there like he grew up in the same neighborhood. You know what I mean? He grew up in the same neighborhood and then maybe people that sort of, sort of saw him as a bit of a weirdo or something. Then now, now they're like, oh my gosh, you're so cool. You're so cool, Hassan. So cool. Fuck him. Okay. We mission boys. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, let me present you to Ash Island. He's only 21. What? <laughs> See, how the fuck does that sound so cool in Korean? My hobbies are recording music, making money, and meeting my friends. But in Korean, it sounds like... What the fuck? Spending money, that's it. See, I watch one of those TikToks, they do that. <laughs> Eurobanks. I was about to rap. <laughs> See, isn't that the amount they were playing in the Squid Game for? 50 million or something like that? Wow, man. That's rough. That's kind of rough. He's got it in his bank account. These people had to go through all that shit. Brother Ali deserved better, man. Okay, 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 okay. Pay your tax, dog. Just avoid that trouble. Oh my gosh, dude. What the fuck? The songs just keep getting better and better. Oh my gosh. That's my favorite right now. That's a joke. What are people? You all, yo, who the fuck broke huge, huge, young, 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 and young. Ah, oh, sorry. I tried. He writes some sad ass lyrics. Yeah, dude. That last, um, that last bit where he's saying, like, I, I, I like money more than girls, but I fell in love with you. It's like, whoa, bro, maybe wrong song. I don't know. <laughs> My tears and money are falling to the ground like autumn leaves. Like, bro, how can you make that shit sound so gangster? That's what I mean. That's also something else, right? Because I guess when you're forced to, maybe you want your song to do well, like maybe commercially, uh, not just in the rap scene, um, you kind of are also then forced to uh, perhaps become a better lyricist because 
you want to try and express things in a in a way in a manner that they can be then commercialized so perhaps you you improve your vocabulary instead of using a swear word. Perhaps you utilize a, a literacy and uh, um, um, references to other more literate work rather than simply going through li sling, uh, sorry, slang and, and lingo. Um, I guess there is some, some positive. This is a good example of that. Um, people here are also saying, I don't know if I'm showing it. They're like uh, me out of nowhere. Ban, check, ban, check, yes, check. Ash comes everywhere all the girls are. Wait, what? Okay, dog. I wished. I don't understand that. Um, but yeah, so far so good, dog. Let's see what else you guys recommended. Um, I hope this is enjoyable. I mean, obviously, the first time Actually, I've done a feature Friday alone, I'm fucking having a blast. I hope Walucha was here, though, to be fair. Um, but hey, what can we do? It's a silly ass picture of me, man. Um,. We have, what else do we have? I think Simon Dominic, I can't, we can't do that one because I just have Simon. Jake, oh, Jake Park. Oh, maybe that, I don't know if we can check that out, dude. Because I saw Jake Park collaborate with uh, Wiz Khalifa. Let's check that out, huh? J Park. Wiz Jake Paul with Khalifa. Yeah, I think he's out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty new. We look at we look at the lyrics thing. Okay, okay. I must say I've never been a big fan of Wiz. I uh, don't know. Just don't listen much to his music. He does have some good songs though, every now and then. Like his popular ones, I guess those are the ones I know. gotta be in English then no uh, no 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 let me go to the original dog see the artwork okay okay Travis on this as well. that voice the 
ഉള്ളായിരിക്കണം Yeah, that's a nice layer there, like, robot. That's like a robotic voice in the background, providing the layers. Nice. Nice. Okay, good project. I always just say love. I don't wanna burn. I don't wanna. There you go. That's a little ride, dog. What a beat. Oh, bro, that song is too short, dog. Oh, that's a good song, too. Pour up, pour up. Uh, that kind of hip-hop. It's kind of more like R&B, right? Because it's Dean. But, hey, this is a good song. That's actually a very good song. Jake Park, Wiz Khalifa. That makes me want to listen to more Wiz Khalifa stuff. Or maybe more Jake Park stuff. I think I listened to quite a bit of uh, Jake Park. Let's see what they're saying in the comments. He's saying, legend shit only. Thank you all for the support. Here, I'll give you a like. Even though it's on Balesca's account, but... Uh, primera vez la canción es demasiado buena. I mean, first time the song is very good. Segunda, la armonía entre las dos voces está perfecta. The, the second time, the harmony between the two voices is perfect. Tercero, j Park siempre nos, nos podemos sentir más orgullosas de ti. Ah, oh, de women. Uh, third time, Jake Park always makes us proud of him. Uh, Jay Walker's forever. Okay, okay. Jay never disappoints. That's actually true. He's very consistent, isn't he? He's a bloody consistent uh, uh, artist. Very impressive. Very, very impressive. And this release, I think, yeah, today. Ah, oh, very nice. So, when you guys watch this... Tomorrow? I don't know. Um, so, here, like... Oh, my gosh. That always plays. Okay, okay. So far... So good. So far, so good. You know, I found out as well, like, uh, there's some clubs here in London that play only Korean music. I didn't know there was a thing. I don't know what they're called, and I've never been. I think I'd like to go. I look like Spider-Man with my knees up like that. Um, I'd like to go, though. Um, but I don't know, yeah. I don't know who I'll take. Yeah, I'll take Bali, why not? Um, get well, Walucha. I'll show you the comments here. C on T. Did we check that out? No. I'll put C on T and uh, Simon. Oh, no. This one. Oh, look at that. CK, Water, and Woody got. I feel like I've heard that. Let's listen to this. Because why not? Stone Music Entertainment. Dude, you know what? Talk about entertainment. Reminds me of Rainbow Entertainment. I'm actually very excited for... for um, Very excited for... Uh, Huwasa. She's coming... I think she's coming out like... When well, you guys are watching this, she's already come out. Um, so I'm very excited for that. I'm very looking forward to that uh, solo. Okay. Shiko. He's quite old though. Like six years ago, don't know. Dude, why is this computer... Spazzing. I think it's fixed. I got it, I got it. And any of these guys speaking? Or oh, maybe, hopefully, it's like captions. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Anyways, guys, how are you? Let's pretend like technical difficulties aren't happening. 
How's your Christmas? Jingle bells. Uh, it's beginning to look a lot like that's a banging song, dude. I looked up. I looked up the other day, like uh, Christmas classics here in the UK. I know none of them. Dude, what the hell is wrong with this computer? Like, there's that song. It goes, "I am walking." No, no, no. He's like, "I am walking in the air." <laughs> da, 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 da. What the fuck? I never heard that song in my life. But it was number one in the list. Yeah. It's like, how are they? Who, who are they? Who are they? Why is this not working? Put it back. Okay, I think we got it, guys. This is Shiko and Zion T. In, uh, I think this is called Eureka. You, Eureka. Eureka. Bam. You guys see it? How about now? Ooh! How did we do that? Look at this! Ooh! You see that effect, dog? Wow. We never done that shit. Look at this! What the fuck? Anyways. Oh, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I, I learned. <laughs> you learn something new every day. I'm liking this so far. See I go. See I go. Oh, no lyrics. <laughs> Eureka. Eureka. Oh, God. Why, bro? Ooh. I feel like I should have heard this when it came out. Eureka. These are some attractive models, dude. Perhaps it would be appropriate to give South Korea a visit very soon. Oh, next week. <laughs> Eureka. Oh, maybe not there. Eureka. Oh, shit. Oh, no, I missed something. Apologies, I blinked. So I blinked again. Be a shame if you drop that sign, will it? <laughs> uh, is, what is that, milk? What the fuck? What type of, dude, you gotta get out of there fast. What type of water looks white, dog? Oh my gosh. Ah, dude, doesn't matter how good looking that girl is, she is not getting me in a milk milk, milk bath. No way. I gotta hear. Oh, I see. What? You recall. 
What a vibe. Dun, 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 dun. God, those women are so attractive. Oh, hello. Chico. She I Chico. Vibe. Oh, he just wants to get played. Poor up just wants to get played. We'll play as I look for the post. Hopefully we don't get it. would be so funny. The podcast doesn't go out. Put it loud. Okay, okay, okay. So far, so good. I feel like I'm in a radio. Radio 10275. There was a radio in um in um uh, in Venezuela called Bonchona. That used to be my favorite radio when I was a kid. I used to quote everything that fucking radio had. They would only play uh they would only play like um reggaeton and stuff like that. Proper urban. You could call him. You could call him right and they'd pick up your calls and be like, hey, how are you? And you give him your issues, like your life troubles. Like they'd be like, oh, you know, I just broke up with my girlfriend. How do I get back in the game? And the guy would be like, Bonchona! 107! All you gotta do is go to the bar. Speak to the hottest girl you can find. And then accept rejection. Go home and cry. And it's like, oh, fuck, dude. And then he'll be like, here's some bachata to help you lose, you know, to help you with your heartbreak. Okay, okay, let me stop that song. I kid you know, I feel like I sound like such a radio host right now. I said, stop this song, dog. Bad idea playing this song. It won't stop. Oh, they've stopped. Okay. Let's look for another one. Um, you know what? I can't have a, a hip-hop or a collaboration podcast and not have... In my opinion, oh, look at this. Is this not the one we checked out? Oh, look, this has so many likes. This is RM's collab. Oh, another RM. Uh, MFBTY, EE, and Dino J. You guys should check it out. It's so good. Tiger JK is the man on the left. He's known as the godfather of Korean hip hop. Confessed that he used to be prejudiced against idol rappers. All oh, right, so maybe idol rapping was considered like different. Maybe because it's more commercial. Um, also, I guess there's ghost writing involved, right? Like the raps are not their own. They don't write them um, in some occasions. Or maybe a lot of them. He confessed that he, he confessed that he used to be pre prejudiced against idol rappers and even against RM himself when he first heard of him from Bang PD. That's like the big boss, right? From Hype, or a big hit. Then, after talking about music with RM, he knew that RM was not just an idol rapper. RM's attitude towards music, the way he writes music and understands the song, also reminded me of our old days as underground rappers. He is sincere, passionate, and most of all, talented. Good on him, good on him. Uh, but it wasn't RM, like an underground rapper, though. Oh, everyone's like, yeah, you do do this. Okay, okay, well, shit, I'll do it, I'll do it. Click on this. Okay, oh, fuck. Let's give it a watch. MTV is it? Oh, oh, okay. Here we go. E E. So Tiger's the guy on the left. Tiger JK. <laughs> what a hell of Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, where's my phone? Let's find some lyrics before we go ahead. We take the video off. One second. Because I don't know what the fuck is going on, what they're saying. But they're saying it like in a baby voice. Um, M F B T Y. Oh, that's that's like a hip hop. Oh, it's a whole hip hop group. The whole the whole the song is called Buku Buku. Lyrics in English. Very nice. Okay, I got it. Oh, it's ingenious. Oh wow, this was very popular. Okay. 
Okay, okay, okay. So it's Yun Mi Rei, verse number one. Alright, let's continue. <laughs> Dude, she's got so much fucking like flair, like swag would be a good word. Uh, what did she say? You hoes is what? You hoes. <laughs> boss, <laughs> boss bitch self made you hoes is trained. Well, I wonder what she's throwing shade at. Or who? No, what? I understand what. Cheated. My cousin Hart. Dino J. Oh, I like his flow. See that? That's good. Fucking you know, that's brilliant. Be awareness. See, that's so smart. Ah, oh, that's so good. Just flow wise and breath control. Oh, it's like a ghost note or a snake. Sorry, M. They wanna, they wanna grab it. Let me go on and let's, I like that Dino J guy. He says losing the ranks imit what? Losing the rank, the ranks imitates a horse. My nose gets red with music and alcohol, filled with energy. I have a good buzz going on, and I'm getting a feeling. Is and I'm getting a feeling instead of fashion makeup. I go crazy every night with new lyrics. When I feel lonely and sad, sometimes turn up the music. You don't need to be so private. Light up your skills. I like to take charge. My aspirations are a match f for a hundred. Who can bring me down? And feel good music. You know that. Ah, oh, so it's the same feel hood. Oh, because I guess we we listen to uh, RM with someone else, right? Ah, interesting. So what's the relationship between RM and them? They seem to do a lot of stuff together. Um, no, I said together, like together, together. What happens when I listen to too much rap? That turning hood. Love this guy, dude. Vibe. I like that girl a lot. Dope as hell. See, without without lyricism, we'll look at the lyrics in a bit. And obviously, I do lose a lot of lyricism because there's wordplay that I'm, obviously I'm not, I don't speak Korean in any form or shape or, or capacity. Um, but one of the things I think he does very well is like intonation and accents in the right moment. Uh, breath control is obviously pretty good as well because we've seen him perform live. Um, but let's go ahead and the lyrics. So he goes, um, I'm a little shy. I'm a little shy now. That I'm trying to rap in front of you. A little shy with the Hyungs and Nunas. I think that means like. Oh fuck I forgot that. I think Nuna means like a, a, like a, a girl that you like. I don't know. Who are in the albums I bought. The Hyungs who are in the rooms get jealous and pick me apart. I think that means like older brothers. Brothers. Uh, yeah they want to get it. They want to grab it. They want to have it. Catch it. Damn it. S uh, saying I did everything you couldn't. Is that even slander. Is that even slander? So it sucks. No matter how much you bark, I'll kill you. I will kill you. Oh, fuck. I can't say those words on YouTube. But anyways. 
Um, because the monster, the monster is tolerant. My size is bigger than real estate, mister. Lady, don't go anywhere. Look at me. I'm not, I'm not there yet. Don't come. It's not the right time. It's no cool. It's no swagging. I'm Korean. Check my swag. I'm shy, but I reveal it now. Even my poop smells like jasmine. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> So he's the big boss. I got Jake. So I was playing words and wrist, right? This bitch. Nice. Block the RM reference. Okay, 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 okay. One sec, one sec. So he goes, try or not, see or not. I close my eyes, but I can't see clearly the results. You horse around and you pay, so snap out of it. Look how I'm poking at your conscience in between my words. Look at yourself trying to fill your stomach by buying kids' souls at a dirt chip price. You're going to get punished. Can I get a witness, karma? Ain't no running from it. Your eyes in the mirror are buried in blood tears like a criminal crazed over money. Guilty? Your name is corruption. Your sky has no love and I'll do a headstand with my two arms. <laughs> my BF, my... My two arms. MF, Busy, Tiger, you and me, Ray. Apologies if I'm mispronouncing their names. And Dino or Dino J, we are M. Nice. From Yujung Bu, my habitat, where RM monsters live. Feel good is the way on the northeast Gonsion Gon Gon Highway. Apologies, I, I, can't, I don't know how to speak Korean. <laughs> Ah, so we saw the one that's next. Ah, I see, I see, I see. Bro, I love this beat. It's fucking clean. Yeah. 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 Levels, dude. Levels. I feel like I need a soundboard. Yeah. 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 So far, so far. Hey, dude, how long have we been doing this shit for? Hey, sh you know. Nah, I like Apple. I, w I will never say, be quiet to him. Go on, Dad. Really? Dude, I'm fucking blasting. I love it. Hey, okay, okay, okay. Uh, what do we have? What do we have? Collaborations. Young, young freestyle. Wet Flowski featuring Jesse. Uh, oh, but he has. Mantra drunken. Oh no, I, I, okay, I'll keep that in mind. We've heard that one. Icon. Ah, this is it. GD to TOP. I know that had so many bloody likes. But I don't know, 23 likes, you know what I mean? But for us, that's a lot. No, no, no. This. Bam. And I think it's only been. Oh my god, I'm taking a piss. All right. That thumbnail, oh my gosh, dude. Taking a piss, someone pats me in the back like that. Jesus. Give me some space, dog. Doesn't matter if we're like brothers. I want to say about Big Bang, like... Something that's pretty, like, impressive about them is longevity. Like, all of them. Like, G-Dragon. Obviously, I think Tae Yang doesn't do as much music now because he's, like, a married man. And he, um... He probably has a bunch of other business endeavors going on. Um... But they're, they're very, it's very cool to see them go, you know, because I guess they did have ups and downs, not only as individuals, but as a band as well. Um, but longevity, dude, they, people love them. Like, and it's so cool now, like getting the chance to, not to spoil like the podcast for Sunday. And it was a, a podcast on the shorter side. Um, they, they were really busy and, and uh, they're like shooting a bunch of shit. But um with Big Bang, it's like they're so idolized by other idols, ironically enough, um, and other people that are going through training and a lot of artists that maybe are not going through the training system, they're kind of just doing in a more traditional manner, uh, more 
unorthodox way in Korea, in South Korea, but more traditional in comparison to the rest of the world um, way of growing their music. And they all look up to them like, wow, I want to be like Taeyang or I want to be like G-Dragon, I want to be like T.O.P. And it's like, bloody hell, it's, like, it's crazy how much they, they impacted a whole generation and they impacted like a whole, um, yeah, to a certain extent, a whole genre, you know, like they I think uh, for a huge reason to why K-pop has evolved in the manner it has is certainly, you know, Big Bang had a role to play in that. Um, they're certainly a very intriguing bunch as well. Like their personalities are very, very, very peculiar. Um, and this happened in 2015. What people saying in the comments? To be honest, Big Bang is the only artist that can sing about being rich and famous without sounding, sounding awkward. Uh, still not K-pop group has come close to Big Bang's uniqueness and versatility. G draw so he has orange hair. Oh. Pleasant morning surprise. Six years ago. That sounds so crazy about the internet as well. Like you can it's like a it's like a travel, like a time travel machine. It's been six years since this song and I'm still over it. Not over it. Oh right, look, look. three months. Wow, they're still like encouraging fans to try and get it to hundred million. Bloody hell. Okay, let's give it a watch. I must. I was like showing it all the time. Oh. Wow, that toilet is fucking grim. Hey, whatever, whatever floats your boat. Oh, dude, we're getting so blocked in this podcast. That's ketchup, you do. Uh -uh. Hey, I think I've heard this. Hold on. I think I've heard this song before. Let me see if I can find the lyrics. Da 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 da. Uh uh. Mm 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 mm. Mm mm. Fuck! Can you bring me a tissue, please? I just ate a fucking horrible sweet. I never want to try that shit again. Ugh. Okay, I got the lyrics. Hello, mother. How can I help you? Yeah, I can have a tissue, please. Tell you? I'm still recording. I'm still recording? Yeah, yeah, I'm still on the podcast. Oh, my God. Good to see you. Oh, my God. This is not... Oh. This is not your style of podcast, though, I would say. Lots of swearing. And the uh, Korean hip-hop. Well, it's actually just hip-hop. But maybe you like it, who knows? Everything that you do, I like. Yeah? Thanks, mother. Good to have you around. Mm. I think I have heard this song. But, yeah, why not? Fuck it, let's hear it. G-O-D Okay, yeah, I've heard this I've seen the video though Yeah, the mask there Miss Miss what? Miss Baila Oh, Miss B. Baila <laughs> Toma. Toma. After the second, you gotta hit back. <laughs> uh. <laughs> If I, if I do no hands, it goes everywhere though. Dude, what the fuck is up with the chickens and the pigs? I've never seen so many chickens and pigs in a fucking podcast. Look away, mom. Oh, hey, who's dead anyways? 
<laughs> to my slaughter, look, look. Nah, tell your mother, I don't think this might be for you. Chananam. What a vibe, that guy is. Shut up. Oh, no. How long can you last in a refrigerator like that? Because they always do that in movies, right? They always lock him up in a freezer or something. How long until you get hypothemia? I don't know. I do apologize for the visuals, this. It is, I like it, but I know him. Yeah. Apologies, but I, nothing I can do, mate. But, um, yeah, how long can you survive in a refrigerator like that? I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, father. He likes science. He watches Discovery stuff. Discovery Channel. Yeah. He might know. He might know. Because I read somewhere that if you're stuck in Alaska or something like that, don't know why you would be stuck there. Because if you were stuck there, it would suggest you went there voluntarily. But if you're stuck... In a refrigerator, yeah, and an industrial refrigerator like this. Look, look at the thing like that. How long can you survive in there? Uh, yeah, it depends the dimensions of, of the uh, refrigerator and, and the, how, how cold it is. How cold oh, it let's is. say it's I don't know, minus 10. Uh, but that, that refrigerator that there is like minus 30. But guess what? It, are they with just in, in normal clothing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, not much. How long? Not much, not much. Like an hour? Less. Really? Less. Fuck. Yeah, less. That's brutal. Well, I think you would just go to sleep though, wouldn't you? Mm hmm You wouldn't really suffer? Uh, a bit? Not much. Oh, the hell. Not much, yeah. Hypothermia is it's not, it's not, it's not that bad. It's not painful. If you survive it, though, it's rough because a lot of people uh, okay, then... Okay, yeah, that's different. That, that's different. I had a, a type of hypothermia in New York City in winter. What the hell? Yeah, and in the middle of the city, I found myself with my knees and, and ankles frozen. Yeah. Yeah. You were just cold as hell, then. You didn't have hypothermia. It is. It is. And I didn't realize it happened. You just you don't realize. Hmm. And the thing was coming back to normal. Yeah. So painful. Really? So painful. No, I've never experienced joints, cold at that. Yeah, the joints. And here in, in, in London as well, my hands frozen. Yeah, yeah. In certain environments I've been working. And yeah, if it's outdoors I, and you have your hands exposed. I'm minus four, minus five. Yeah. Um, even in zero degrees, if you are exposed for too long. Yeah, yeah. Uh, your joints turn, you know, so stuck and, and difficult to move it. Yeah, yeah. The thing is, when you come back to normal temperature, body temperature, mm. it's all very. Painful. What I find is like, say it's really cold, then I don't feel my hands, and then I once I once washed my hands, and I didn't notice the cold, the water was really warm, mm. and then the day out, like an hour after, my hands were just fucking boiling, yes. and and they turned all red. And I think it's because I actually burned my hands. It's true. Because yeah. I didn't, you I couldn't feel realize. shit. You didn't feel it. Yeah, I didn't feel anything. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't, I shouldn't swear, mum's here. Um, but yeah. Anyways, go on. So there, this is G Dragon and T.O.P. Frozen. I should just play his music. It'll warm him up. It go. That's enough. Oh, don't blow you, prick. Shut up. Shut up. But if you try to move, like, keep moving. <laughs> yeah, that, that trumpet in the back is really nice. It's like a synth. <laughs> Damn, dog, you gotta get your prostate checked. Oh, you animal. <laughs> Good sense of humor. Don't look, mother. GD TOP. Yeah, I've heard this. I've heard this. I've never seen the video. <laughs> oh my gosh. I've never seen the video. That's real funny. 
Dude, so far this music is pretty solid. I must say, like the last three track, uh, sure, the like first it. four tracks, they I'm adding all to my playlist. The other ones, like Shut Out, I've heard before. Um, the one, the Buku Buku one with RM, and, and the, I think I like the original one, the, the first one better. Let's do one more. I think we got time for one more. Um, let's do, oh shit, what should we do? The last one. Let me make sure I check all the comments. And let's see the ones with the most likes. See people doing asking for more CL. Um, the last release from Calle 3. Oh, look, 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 look. Perfect. Epic High and Sugar. Good. That is fantastic. It's not really hard. People are saying it's not. This one's not exactly not hard, but okay, let's give it a go, though. I, I trust you, um, Smeraldo0613. I've never met an Esmeraldo that has bad intentions. <laughs> uh, with lyrics. Bam. It can never be a podcast without sugar or a tableau. Here we go. Maybe it's more mellow, this one. Oh, wow, it's very mellow. It's like jazz. Hip hop. Ah, all right, so from the beginning, a great example of maintaining rhythmicality and melody as a prime principle during the execution of the song. So that way it can become way more accessible for more audiences. Mm -hmm. you, it do, I understand why you mean like the person, Smeraldo, the person recommended it. That's not very hard, um, but it certainly is hip hop regardless. And uh, it can still have some good, uh, yeah, it can still punch. It can still have some, some punch to it. So let's keep going. But I like this sort of jazz uh, Old school hip hop R R and B vibe. Sick with anxiety. Don't trust nobody. Well, it's epic high, right? The dollar watch. Do a Dude, I'm on the search for the best collabs, dude. Ah, it's that's very old school that type of idea. Putting like a that that uh high high equalization voice radio like as an ad lib. I miss those days. How did he say that? Jong Jong Sagi Aniji. Jong Sagi Aniji. Oh no, the female vocalist is. That's definitely a female voice. Again. 
Love it. Ten of sunshine. Sick way to excite But same here. See, I such an odd way to place the last sentence. Look, body. Well, same here. Nice. Sick with anxiety. Can't trust nobody. <laughs> vibe, 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 vibe. I wonder what people are saying on this one. Sleepless in. You produced this in two days. So Sugar was the pro producer of this, was it? I hope that he, they will appreciate the song not just because of Sugar, but yeah, I mean, Epic High deserves so much fucking respect. Epic High's debut song was Map of the Soul, and BTS's new album's name is Map of the Soul. Ah, interesting. Very interesting, very interesting. I wonder maybe if they do. They must have a decent relationship because, I mean, they make music together. Tableau and writing music with Sugar. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what, what that was like. So they wrote everything. That's what I mean. I think that's also why my respect for... Um, um, for... Um, what do you call it? Sorry, for Sugar and uh, Ram and J-Hope and all of that comes from... It's, it's because, yeah, I, I think writing is a big deal of hip-hop. And in order to be considered a purist um, uh, and to be considered, you know, good and even great and then outstanding in the eyes of other rappers and in the community of rap, you, you must be able to rap, to, uh, to, to write yourself. Um, I'd like to do one more. I want to try and do one that uh, maybe not many people know. Um, I saw Bibi up there. I've seen this. I've seen this with uh, RM and Wally. Um, CEO. We already checked out CEO. Kiho. One million won. This one has so many likes. PS. Valeska, hope you get well soon. That's very nice. I'll give that a like. That's a lovely comment. React to Mob. Mino winner. Bobby. I've seen that. Yeah, yeah. Um, since it's hip hop, you should definitely check out. What about this? Yeah, names that I don't know. Indigo, just this, Kid Millie, and Noel. Just copied that now. Let's see, maybe there's anything else. Beck Young Loco, heard it. Ash Island. Thought they said the boys. Yes, it's coming. I just didn't want to do a, a special podcast without Walucha. That's a bit rough. BB. Um, bro, you've got a cool attire collection. Ah, very nice. I will. I'll, some cool stuff coming, and you guys will know where all the clothing comes from. Um, purple, but I think that's pretty much it. Star by Big Naughty. See, some replied. That's new, right? I love Big Naughty. I know also there's this thing, uh, F Hero, and um, he did a song with Stray Kids. Um, but yeah, should I look at the video? Let's look at this video first. It's not like we're short on time. Brilliant. I don't know how much I can check out either. I barely usually knows like. I like the idea for a video. That's dope. <laughs> Who is this geezer? Kid Millie, I think. 
될 거야 monster 난 항상 본 모습 넌 바라람 똥고 난 태어났어 예수가로 야비한 새끼들은 전처발지 밤에 난내 족대로 입지에 on more skill trick 전처발지 nice <laughs> wow, those are references. Okay. I like him. You guys suck at music. I'm a chess. It's in Korean, that's still means the same. Oh yeah, okay. Right side. Dude, I love this video. That's so smart. Oh, that's a different human. <laughs> what the fuck? Today, a day of your life is worth. What is it? Two two days of my life are worth one of yours. A normal day for me is worth two days for you <laughs> of your life. So <laughs> blame was super fake for the first time we heard that. Nice, I like that. Oh, fuck it up, fuck your noise. Vibe. <laughs> Go, 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 <laughs> hey, hey, hey. You all don't deliver, boss. I'm gonna spit boss to the very end. You all don't deliver the boss. You just play in with your mouth. Your fans don't know it's fake. Oof. They must observe shit in the industry that we don't know about. They can't say names, but they can rap about it. Oh, you. Right side. Indic go, Indic go. Hell, I said fuck it. Fuck it. Got like long hair. Oh, this motherfucker West is hello, dude. We just go, we just go, we no. oh, I changed it. What am hoes? Yeah, I wonder what they see that we don't. You know what I mean? Like, in the industry, like, there must be so much shit going on. And then they can kind of speak about it, you know, through rap. Because I guess that's one of, like, the, the big deals about rap and rappers and writers and observers of, of the world that then decide to speak through it with their music. Um, is that you can kind of touch on subjects that... Um, maybe you can you can even call out and maybe even rebel against um, you know ideologies or core principles that are known, but no one really speaks about them. Like I'm I, like I'm so interested to see what rappers think of you know oh like I guess this this uh, term that I just learned like idol rappers. Um, yeah, what do they truly think of that? Because it seems they did have some sort of prejudice towards them. My approach 
it, I, I think it, I think it's been known, obviously, because I like some of these some of these lads. Actually, I like most of them. I don't know. I've never met anyone that I've never liked. I've met very few of them. Now I can say, like, I don't know, a few. Um, off camera, there's a couple, but there's like, um, yeah, I don't. I've never. I don't know any of them that have done shit that I'm like maybe I disagree with or anything like that. Um, I can't think of one, but I'm sure that. There must be opinions that they have, like, I don't know, like, some rappers from this group, they think he's shit because none of the, the raps he does are himself. And then you have other guys, like, they write everything. Um, and then they're very well respected in that realm of, like, rapping and stuff. But truly underground core. Um, I think that's why I like checking some of this stuff out, like, not only collaborations, um, but names that maybe i don't know about and maybe you know this video is also this video is very popular but some of the other videos maybe are not you know like in 100 million views like some of the videos that we check out on the channel all the time um because i don't know it's just nice to check out different stuff but the reason why i wanted to check out collaborations is mainly because if you collaborate with someone that means you're in good terms with them yes, they're always uh, taking influences from and um you're in good terms with them and I'm like, for example, RM and that Tiger, J JK Tiger collaboration. I learned something there. So I was trying to do the same with all these other collaborations. Um, yeah, let's do one more. Let's do one more. One last one. One last one. One last one. I don't want to. It's impossible to put everyone in, but I don't want to leave anyone behind. Icon, I think I fucking heard everything there is to heard from them in terms of rap. Um, I'm, I, I like them. That's the other thing. It's like, yeah, like, uh, you know, they seem like genuine rappers. I mean, we were speaking to, uh, you know, an AB6 as well. Um, and all those guys write their own stuff, you know, including including rapping and including uh, even compositions of the songs. They are some of the anomalies of the industries. Um, and um, but there are certainly groups that write and, you know, rappers from uh, groups that they write their own stuff. Um but I'm sure, yeah, I'm, I know there's a lot of them that don't. Let's see what else we got here. Ah, yeah, yeah. BTS Cypher medley with Supreme Boy. I'll check, we'll check that, I'll check that out with Baleska, like, um, on Monday. Um, not to be fair, I think, I think this is pretty good, dog. Yeah, I think so. Oh, look at this one. Oh, that's the one. That's the same list. <laughs> that's the same list that I was looking at before. Giddy up. Woody J Park. Seen it. Oh, I don't recognize this one. Let's check up the F Hero thing. Yeah. F Hero. With um, Chang Bing. That's it. Mirror. We'll do. We'll do this and then we call it a day. Because um, I like F Hero. We did a, we did a, I think he's from, um, where's he from? He's from Thailand. Am I incorrect? We literally just did a Thai special, didn't we? Hold on. I don't wanna, I wanna say anything wrong here. F Hero. He is from Thailand. Yes. It's 39. Good. Looks good for 39, dog. It's about to hit 40s. Okay, here we go. Let's give this a watch. Rapper reacts to rapper, rapper, rap, 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 rap. So artist in here, though, isn't it? Who is that lady? Millie. This guy got such a voice. Watch me, watch me. Oh, hello. What the fuck? She's a little dog. She doesn't look real. Fingers. Oh, the mirror. I saw that. Mirror, 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 mirror on the wall. Who the freaking sad face? Who the 
baby, yes, sir. God, I wasn't feeling that beginning, and then all of a sudden I'm fucking singing it. That's so weird. It's like I'm being conditioned to like it. Terminator. Okay, look. Team here, nice. Dude, you hear that flute? Beep, Add so much. Such. So atmospheric. You breathe with that thing on, dude. And it will. Listen, baby, yes, we are. Fuck, what am I? Listen, baby, yes, we are. What the fuck? <laughs> yes, we are. Oh, man. Hey. I was gonna say I'm not a big fan of the kind of chorus thing, but what the fuck, dude? It it grows on you. Talk to me, brother. Vibe. <laughs> yeah, modern hip hop loves that fucking high alert. <laughs> Very well produced. Oh, fuck. Hey, is she is she Korean? Where where's this girl from? She doesn't look real, like I thought it was AI or something, like uh, she looks like a little doll. Good looking one. Um Millie. Millie. Oh she's from, she's from Thai. She she's Thai. Her name is Dan Dan Danupa 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 Kana Kana De Rakul, better known by her stage name Millie. It's a Thai female rapper and singer. She rose from prominence in a debut ang uh, single in 2020. She's 19 years old. Oh, so she is young. She has she has that dull look. She's good looking though. But fuck that that she murdered that that chorus because it's disruptive enough, but it's catchy, mental. <laughs> I like that. Yes, more of this. No, 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 more of this. <laughs> yeah, Korean's not so good. My English is not very good looking. Whoever produced this beat deserves so much credit. Yeah. 
That bloody flute has so much. That was such a smart addition. I think that is that the same mansion where he recorded the one with uh, Bam Bam. He looked. I mean, wow, that guy has so much money. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Yes, baby, yeah, we are. Mirror, 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 mirror. Ah, uh, yeah, JYP, how cloud, you be? Hype train. Vibe. Okay. I think that's a good place to finish it there. Look, here's a little review about it, right? It's good. I, I think... I think the producer deserves a lot of credit because the addition of that flute, it's fucking huge. It, it made a, a good song into a great song because it, it, add atmos it added atmosphere. It added something that it needed, melody. Um, so smart, very smart. Um, Millie, yeah, I mean, what the fuck? I tend to find at the end, didn't I? Um, she's young as well, so I'm very interested to see what the future's like. Chang Bing, I think... As, as I said before, just I think Stray Kids has won this year, this year's uh, video of the year. And uh, in my opinion, in my books, I think they're definitely one of the best perform. Uh, what would you call it? Like year year performances, like comebacks and music that they've released, albums wise and stuff. Um, Thunderous, I think it was the name of the fucking video. Uh, very good. Um, so I'm no surprise that he's also doing other projects and stuff. Um, God, what's the best collaboration we heard today? I don't bloody know. But I gotta give it. We usually don't do this, but because I'm alone, I want to break the rules. Um, I'm gonna give it to... Ooh, it's either Jama, the one with the dead chicken and the dead pig. It's either that one or Changmo, Hash, Hash Swang, Kim, Kim Hyung. And Ash Island. That's it. Band. That's 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 the best one. That's the best one. I think. That's the best one. But I think all these bloody songs are going on my playlist. Very impressed by Wiz Khalifa. I think he did amazing in that collaboration with Jay. Very impressed. Chico and uh, Sion T. That was amazing. Um. Um. God, but like pure rap value, dude. Drunken Tiger, Timeless with RM of BTS. Very good. Very, very good. Um, I don't know. Fuck, you know, we checked that quite a bit. I bloody hope this podcast makes it out, guys. I, I, I don't know what to say. Maybe I went too crazy. But listen, thanks so much for tuning in. Do tune in on Feature Friday Plus, 12 p.m. time on... Uh, 12 p.m. UK time on Sunday. Where we'll be joined by the lovely people from AB6. Um, again, one of my favorite bands that I've discovered off camera. And I actually, it's very funny, but I was exposed to some of their music before we even did the, the channel. Um, and before we even discovered K-pop on the channel. And I didn't know it was like that thing. Um, so very cool. I think I was a bit of, I, I hope you enjoy it. I think I was a bit like, you know, excited and stuff about it. Um, they were very cool. Obviously a bit shorter because they were a bit busy. Um, but really, really grateful for them to fit us in and for us to, to be able to also find a time for them and stuff and have a chat. They're obviously so busy, so huge honor. Um, apart from that, I think that's pretty much it. No sponsor today, just happy days. And uh, tune in next week as well. And we'll see you Monday. Anything we missed, just uh, let us know in the comments. And I'd love to check it out with Walucha on Monday. Like there's, there's that Cypher one featuring someone for BTS. Um, so we'll check that out. And we'll check out, obviously, in the Dingo special podcast. We'll check out CL, because I've never seen that. Bali has. Uh, apart from that guys peace out and uh, thank you so much for watching